Hi, I'm Dennis Cameri. You're here, I'm here, and now it's time for Saturday Night Football. Collaborating with me in the commentary box is Matthew Richardson. Welcome, Richo. Thanks, Dennis. Expecting something very special here tonight. Tonight, it's the Western Bulldogs versus Melbourne. Melbourne run onto the ground. Banners ready for the players. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. The Bulldogs winning the toss. Round four. Coming off a string of wins. Waiting for the siren now. The players launch into the first turn. Both teams will want to make their mark early. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Roughhead thumps it forward. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Ball up in the center square. Gorn with a big fist on it. McDonald taps it. Jones on the ball at the moment. Is in his possession. Is in his possession. He's got the footy in his hands. The Demons have won to their tally. And we have the first goal of the match. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by Gorn. Hogan controls. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Claimed by Gorn. Ball up in the center square. Roughhead timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. Wallace aims for his man on the ground. Collected by Dalhouse. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Liberatore claims the ball. Kicks. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Kicked in a flurry. A big run to take that mark. Young sends the ball on its way. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Johannesson lines it up. 50 minutes from home. Going for goal number one. It's in the air. He gave it a crack and it sailed wide of the goal. The Bulldogs only trailing by less than a goal. Vince to bring it in. Kick to himself. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Wallace can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. He boots it. Dalhaus marks it. This kick is for the lead. Dalhaus has got it. The lead going to the Western Bulldogs. He's loving that replay. <laughs> and he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Dalhouse knows that was something special. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball bouncing well. Gorn with the hit. Morris with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Kicks it. Jetta claims it. Slams it on the boot. McDonald grabs that one. Trims the grass with that one. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the pig. Kicks it. 
stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Bontempelli is a great mark, strong overhead and on the lead. He slams that on the boot. Palms with a strong mark. Puts boot to ball. He grabs it. Hogan lines up. Caught him with his arm. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. The Demons goes back in front. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Smiles all round. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Ruffhead didn't even get close to that tap. Jams it on the boot now. He wins the contest. Booted by Melksham. Hogan presents and takes the mark. This will certainly test him from this distance. A good mark under the circumstances. Kilt slams one on the boot for goal. I lost the words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richard? That was one of the worst shots at goal I've ever seen. Trengert waiting for the man to free up. Plays on. Slams it on the boot. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Wallace has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. The ball is tapped. He taps it. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Dalhouse gets the hand pass. Boyd takes the mark uncontested. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 45 metres out. A 45 degree angle shouldn't be too hard for Will Henderson. Boyd can level the scores with this one. Only the smallest of margins in it now. Boyd is good on both left and right, so kicking off either side is just not an issue for him. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. His face says it all. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Gorn decisively. Morris with the tap. Oliver aims for his man on the ground. Has it now. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. And the ball crosses over the boundary. We'll get a ball in. The umpire's throw is a good one. Deft touch from Gore. Dalhouse aims for his man on the ground. Short handball from Pippen. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Bontempelli got under it. Bontempelli always has the ball on a string. Hogan taking aim. Sending it on its way. Melkshin takes the mark. Melkshin goes for goal. He gets the behind. Point the difference. Trengirk waiting to bring it back into play. He plays it to himself. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Gallant with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Petraka marks it. He kicks it. And he's missed. Melbourne by two points. Trengove has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. He boots it. Wood with the spill. Wallace knocks it down. He gets a fist to it. Picken hits it, he scoops it up. Bontempelli picks up the loose ball. Good mark. Boots it. The mark by Dion. Kicks. He wins the contest. Boyd with a long kick. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Not much time left in this quarter. That was a super grab.
He kicks it. That was a narrow miss. The Bulldogs trail by less than a goal. Looks like he's going to go long. Vince decides to play on. Choose to kick it. Oh, he's dropped it. He'll rue that one. Time to check the stats, Richard. You could slip a bit of paper in between these two teams on the marking stats. They're really that close. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richard. back at it. Develop the winning edge. Small differences in your performance can lead to large differences in your results. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Ruffhead aims for his man on the ground. He picks it up. Clean tap by Morris. Tyson controls it. Jams it on the boot. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Simply outplayed the opposition there. It's good to weather. Bontempelli presents and takes the mark. Bontempelli can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. He heads into home, kept his composure then. The goal here will put them in front. Perfect kick. That's two in a row for the Western Bulldogs. The Western Bulldogs back in front. This match is swinging back and forth like a metronome. No, well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Dixon celebrates. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Guided by Roughhead. Redpath made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Gorn taps the ball in the hands of Dalhouse. Wallace sends the ball on its way. Don't take too long lining up for goal. Invariably, the mind messes up more shots than the body. Taken by Roughhead. He gives it a punishing kick. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Close to goal. All eyes on the ball as the Ruckman battle it out. Gorn hits it. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Well, yes, he is a bully, but he's not a mean bully. He's more a teacher, the kind of guy who'd take your lunch money and invest it for you. Boyd executes the goal well. That's his second. The Western Bulldogs with the upper hand in this match, and it shows on the scoreboard, leading 26 to 15. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Boyd knows that was something special. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. Roughhead punches it. The bouncing ball is controlled. Intercepted by Redpah. Puts boot to ball. The opposition forgot about him and he takes the easy mark. Kicked by Young. Couldn't complete the mark. 
Lee that gets the interception on the bounce. Clean tap by Pion. Bontem Pelly passes it. They can't seem to maintain possession. They simply handed it over. Redpath going for number one. Redpath with a great kick. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Redpath is relieved to see that one go through. All is in readiness. Great bounce. Gaunt with the tap. Morris controls it. He runs for home. Jams it on the boot now. Petraka getting into position for the kick. 30 metres from home. Well, if you can hand pick a position, this is it. Straight in front of the goals. Two goals will see Melbourne in the lead. The track acts an incredible straight shooter. No angle seems too sharp for him. Pushing him out wide really doesn't increase his chances of missing. In fact, I think he likes the challenge. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. He loves it. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Gorn gets the tap. He gains possession. He gives the ball away. Morris handballs it to the open paddock. Dalhouse swoops on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. With the ball now. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Bonton Pelly is an absolute ball magnet. Cleanly picked up. Winning the tackle count is a key ingredient for success. But you have to win the contested ball and hit your targets first. If the Demons haven't been able to do this. Boy, goes for home. He's missed the goal. The Western Bulldogs lead. He has a few options. Kick to himself. Launch long by Vince. A good job keeping it in play there. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. The Western Bulldogs could just been so dominant in the marking contest, and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Boyd has a kick. It's in the air. Got the distance and the accuracy. The Western Bulldogs have the edge over Melbourne in this match. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Celebration time after that one for Boyd. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Gorn taps it. Dalhouse comes away with the ball. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Bonton Pelly intercepts it. Boyd with quite a challenge in front of him. Marked by Redpath. 35 metres out. Redpath unloads one towards goal. He's driven that ball hard, but it's a miss. The Bulldogs lead the Demons. Vince to bring it in. He plays it to himself. Low kick. He has space for an easy mark. Suckling winds it up. 45 metres out. Works it across the ground. Redpath gets the upper hand. A risky proposition from here. He'll need a big kick to make the goals. Redpath did well then. He'll be happy with goal number two. The Western Bulldogs by 25. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that.
Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Good bounce. Definitely palmed to advantage. Redpath controls it. Gorn with the interception. Nicely intercepted by Wallace. A lovely drop pass. Hands like dinner plates. Daniel is one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. A good fist. Takes possession. Gorn with the tap. The ball in the hands of McDonald. Certainly that was not a hand pass. The umpire thinks the same and awards the free. Good mark by Campbell. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. 40 minutes from home. A 30 degree kick for Gridpack. Goes wide for a behind. The Bulldogs with a handy break, leading the Demons 47 to 21. Vince has improved his hands to a point now that he can release players from tight pack situations. He knocks it down. Hunt gets onto the ball. Smith scoops it up. The ball is scooped up and the ball is out of play. A good hit out there. Boyd heads in for the goals. Oh, and it's gone through for a behind. The Western Bulldogs by 27. Teammates scrambling to make a lead. Vince plays on. Nice drop punt. Redpath, the better man there. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He's kicking on about a 30 degree angle, which could prove challenging. Richo now with his stats. Well, at least Melbourne have a score that is befitting their stats. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo. It's half time and both teams will be deep in discussion at the moment. Players have taken to the ground looking refreshed and they're ready, so let's get the third term going. They struggled throughout the first half, but there's still a half a game to go. Jones with the mighty fist. Clean tap by Roughhead. Batted down nicely by Redpath. Levin sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Redpath with a chance if he keeps a cool head. 50 metres out. Dixon is able to grab it on the half volley. Exclamation point. How about that? Clean tap by Vince. Able to grab it on the half volley. The bouncing ball is controlled. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. 35 metres out. Johannesson has a shot. It's a question of accuracy. Johannesson goes goalward. It's true. They're starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Johannesson celebrates. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Tapped by Gore. Takes possession. Oliver is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Gorn tackles him to the ground. He hits it. Rough head. Gets a fist to it. Gets the loose ball. He lays off the pass. Hunt decides to send it to space. Dalhouse picks it up. Sending it on its way. It's out of bounds across the boundary on the wing. The ball is coming back into play. Roughhead try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. McDonald marks. Kicks it. Takes it well. Melbourne just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Boyd hits it. Gets it off the ground. 
Spence gathers the ball. He boots it. No one around troubling him there. He gets boot to the ball. He takes the contested mark. Lewis boots it. Nice work from Carnes. He kicks the ball. Morris with real good use of the body. Sends the Sharon on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. The Demons haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Hogan could be trying not to stuff this one up. Oh, and it's gone through for a behind. Trengo has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Hastily kicked. Hogan gets the tap. Good tap from Trengo. Suckling taps it. He's got the footy in his hands. Morris is able to squeeze a kick through the pack. Bontempelli sends one up towards the wing. Hunt picks up the loose ball. Pick up by Melchin. Scoops up the bouncing ball. An easy interception for Lewis. Bumps the pigskin. Off hands. Takes control of the bouncing ball. Suckling with the tap. Daniel with the tap. Daniel decisively. Tap by Johannesson. Wallace collects it. Is in his possession. He's racking up possessions. Perfect timing from Vince. Melbourne just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Strong mark there. He slams that on the boot. The ball goes over the boundary on the wing. Look at the big eaters. They're doing their exercise now as this ball comes into play. He gets his hands on the footy. He gets the hand pass. Now we'll get a ball up. Guided by Roughhead with the ball now. Tapped by Gallup, controlled by Gorn. Wallace approaches tackles like some people approach chocolate. Oliver gains possession through the interception. Unfortunately, plays ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Kent approaching home now. Now that miss could prove costly. They really needed a goal there. The Demons not enjoying this. Need someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Bicken ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. A lovely drop punt. Tapped by Wood. He's like he's on a tightrope at the moment. Look at that fancy footwork. Marked by Wallace. A desperate kick there. The ball bounced favorably for Lever. Jones, the better man there. Gets boot to high. Wins the hardball. Campbell is a decent mark, although he really needs to work on his marking contest because he just isn't making an impression there. Jong really forced to earn that mark. He slams that on the boot. That's a mark. Boyd lining up with the goals. Boyd punched the ball for goal. Clean tap by Jetta. Johannesson taps it. Vince decisively. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. The opposition forgot about him, and he takes the easy mark. Gets boot to leather. Hunt got under it. Slams it on the boot. McDonald with the mark. Nice drop punt. Liberatore claims the ball. Jams it on the boot. Lewis with the mark. Let's have a look at the stats. Neither team showing any superiority in the tackling count today. Really close. Locked horns in the tackle contest. 32 to 14. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats. 21 to 14. Enlightening, Richo. After the break, the players should be eager to get started and finish the game with a win for their side. You're never a loser until you quit trying. He takes an uncontested mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 35 metres out. 
Chance has to get this goal. Chance slots the goal. There's lots of time left, but a miracle is needed to close this gap. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Gorn can really set the tone of the game with his rough work. He just always gives his team first use of the ball. Gorn is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate roughhead. Morris there to mop it up. Oh, he's given that to an almighty thumb. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bontempelli takes advantage. Probing kick inside the 50. Redpath getting into position for the kick. 50 minutes from home. A 45 degree angle for this kick. Gets the behind. The Western Bulldogs lead Melbourne. Vince is just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Roughhead tackles him to the ground. He slams that on the boot. He gets a fist to it. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Big leap. McDonald collects it. Lewis taps it. Redpath aims for his man on the ground. Gathers the ball. Roughhead making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. Vince sends the ball on its way. Perfect timing from Hunt. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. If Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50, they just need to be given a shot. Fontenpelli puts his boot on it. Finally gets the tap. Guided down nicely by Daniel. Guided down nicely by Johannesson. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Finally taps it. Johannesson with the tap. McDonald, a good crummer. Superb handball. He's able to thread a needle and that kick comes out of the pack. The Demons haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. He slams that on the boot. It comes off hands. Good hand skills there. His approach looks good. Dixon has got it. The Bulldogs are in control of this game. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first right. His teammates rush over. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The bounce, laser straight. Big thumb from Gorn. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Nice work from Gallup. Thumps the pigskin. Takes it well. Keeps it close to the ground. Kinks, urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. And he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Morris with the mark. Morris may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. Great hands. Puts boot to bowl. He gets the upper hand. Kicked by Liberatore. Wallace gets the upper hand. Choose to kick it. Redpath with the mark. Takes his time as he lines up for goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Choose to kick it. Bontempelli was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. He marks the ball. He kicks quickly. He steadies now in front of goal. Distance could be the problem. Going for goal number three. Redpath watching the ball. Gets the behind. The Western Bulldogs leads by 33. Vince is a pretty decent kick of the footy, but you can always be better. 
Jetta covers some ground with that kick. Suckling takes the mark. He kicks the ball. It's been intercepted by the opposition. Morris with the interception. Wood kicks it. A great mark under pressure. Chips it down towards half forward. Taken by Ruffhead. Sends the Sharon on its way. Young got under it. Sends it on its way. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. But he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable. And he requires a watchful eye at times. We'll get a ball in. A good fist. Dalhouse hits it. Oliver tackles him to the ground. The ball is tapped. He knocks it down. Rough head gains possession. He intercepts the ball on the bounce. Perfect kick. That's two in a row for the Western Bulldogs. That could be the final nail in the coffin. He's loving that replay. <laughs> And he's making sure his opponent knows all about it. Ruffhead knows that was something special. Great bounce. Gorn totally outclassed in that contest. Dalhouse feeds it wide. Marked by Johannesson. That had some power behind it. Nice contested mark by Young. Hunt taps. Hunt goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several ticks. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Wallace. Puts boot to ball. Ruffhead has it. He steadies now in front of goal. Ruffhead feeds it wide. Nice mark there. Melbourne were really taught a lesson today. A tiresome, boring match to watch. Final scores are 68 to 29. Thanks for joining us, Richo, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Dennis. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Until next time, goodbye.